Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and in today's video, we're taking a look at five easy tips in Onshape that are gonna save you time and get you modeling faster. Let's jump right into today's video. All right, so first up, if you're not already using it or haven't customized your tool menu, make sure you turn on by right-clicking in your toolbar the Show Search Tools option. This is gonna allow you at any time to search for any tool you need to find. So it saves you time not having to search through this long list, but if there's a tool that isn't displayed on your toolbar, it's gonna bring it up for you right away. Cho choosing it or clicking on it is going to bring up the search menu and from there you can simply search what you'd like to do if we start with extrude you're going to get that you can type in fillet start with that so this is going to allow you to find a tool you may be familiar with especially if you're coming from another software it's going to bring it right up selecting it is going to activate that tool or command and it's also going to show you the short command if you don't already know it now I'm sure you already know I love using short commands and we're gonna to touch on that later, but again, make sure you turn on by right-clicking the toolbar, the search tools option. Again, you can use the quick command Alt C to turn that on and off, but I have it on most of the time since it's super useful, especially when you're just learning the software and may need help finding tools along the way. All right, tip number two, we're gonna go into a sketch here. So I've double clicked on this sketch and that is that you can string together multiple uses of a single command. Now, depending on how you select your object or uh, piece of a sketch and how you select your constraints, for example, you may have to do this over and over and over again. But if you choose a constraint first, it is going to allow you to string these commands together, kind of like repeating the command after each time. So selecting a constraint and then selecting what you'd like to constrain, say this circle. And since we've chosen concentric, it's gonna center that in another arc or circle. I'm gonna choose these fillets around the edge and you can see it's placed it. Now I can simply go around clicking the rest of my circles and placing them where I would like them by clicking on them and choosing the constraint arc. This is going to place them quickly and it allows me to keep one command going while mo moving multiple objects or constraining multiple objects. Now before we jump into the next tip, I want to thank today's video sponsor, Cadasio, for sponsoring the video. If you guys haven't already checked them out, I've made a video in the past. I'll link that up above and down below. But Cadasio allows you to create 3D instructions and manuals out of your parts and models, whether you've made them in Onshape, Fusion, SolidWorks, Inventor, and more. They have a ton of plugins that you can simply add into your software to instantly start creating a 3D instruction manual like these in minutes. I've made a few already and they only take a few minutes to make and they're easy to share and publish when finished. You can simply publish them, whether it's to a video, pictures, or PDF, or my favorite, sharing them as a link or QR code, allowing anyone else to view and use your instructions for your product, whether it's operation instructions, in assembly or disassembly, or whatever you'd like. These manuals are super easy to create and if you're using them for personal use, they're free as well. You can sign up for an account using the link below and up above right now. And if you purchase a premium version, you can use the code listed below, CADINT20, to get 20% off your sale. Thank you again to Cadasio for sponsoring today's video. I really recommend checking them out and I've enjoyed using it. Let's jump back into today's video with tip number three. All right, so tip three is to use construction lines whenever possible in your sketches. That's this tool up here, and it's gonna allow you to draw in line work and objects that aren't shown or used in your sketch, but they are going to allow you to snap and use them as a construction line or as a uh, point of reference throughout your sketches. These can be added by adding any object with that command or construction icon selected. Selecting it and creating more objects are gonna allow you to add more construction lines. Again, these aren't gonna be used in your actual object or in your geometry, but they're helpful for creating sketches quicker and more accurately. All right, so 
Tip number four is to learn and start using quick commands throughout the software. I say this for every software I teach and every software I learn is to make some effort and take some time up front to learn as many of the quick commands and shortcut keys as you can. This is going to save you a ton of time over the lifetime of using a software and it's going to make things easier for you in the long run. Knowing all of these is going to make things more fluid and easy to use and it's just going to make things simpler for you. So a few quick ones to learn initially would be things like L for line over here and you can learn these and note, see what they are by hovering over any of the commands. But a few that I like is Q for construction lines. As I mentioned, construction lines can be super helpful earlier. D for dimension. This is one that I use a lot. Hitting it and then selecting a line and bringing out your cursor is going to allow you to add a dimension with basically a single click. And again, dimensions in this software are dynamic, so you're gonna be able to type this in and it's gonna adjust that line to match the constrained dimension you've just added. Now, if you've already used another modeling software and become familiar with those, you'll find that many of them are similar within Onshape. And as I mentioned earlier, using the search tool to find any short commands that you don't know is a great way to get started. And for tip number five, our last tip for today, don't forget to use the naming option throughout Onshape. Whether you're naming your parts, assemblies, or even sketches, simply right-clicking on one and choosing the rename option allows you to add a custom name. This is going to help you keep your parts, assemblies, and sketches separate, as well as easily identify them when you need to make edits or changes later on. Keeping things organized is always a good idea, whether that's using layers in other software or, or naming your features, objects, and parts in your file tree. It's a good habit to get into, and it's gonna make your life easier when you come back to these projects a few years, weeks, or months down the road. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed these easy tips in Onshape. Don't forget to check out Cadasio using that link up above or down below to start making 3D instructions and manuals for your products today. It's super easy to use, it's free for personal use, and you can get a 20% discount using the code below if you're choosing one of the premium options. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and click that like button on the video. Have a good one and cheers.